And the Utah Jazz outlast the Clippers in seven games, 104 to 91. Start don't mean nothing. You know, it's how you finish. And once again, you know what I mean? We, we, we die. <laughs> I remember sitting down with you when you came to the Clippers, yeah. asking you how high you're going to throw that ball up for Lob right, City, right. and you're like, I do not know. Right. Looking back now, what didn't work there? Uh, I don't think it's about what didn't work. You know, I try to look at the positive side of things, and it was an amazing six years there. Uh, the relationships, the bonds. Um, you know, for, for us, uh, we had a great run. We just never got to where we wanted to get to. Uh, unfortunate situations, uh, bad turnovers by myself, <laughs> you know what I mean? Different things came up and we just never were able to get to where we wanted to. Was the relationship with your teammates ever as bad as been what has been reported? Listen here, with any team, any family, anything like that, everything isn't always the best and, and peaches and cream and all that stuff like that. You have different issues and you show me anyone who who doesn't and i probably show you somebody that's lying you know what i mean but at the end of the day uh, i think we all genuinely care for each other and love each other and had each other's backs and that's how i feel about all my teammates and coaches and that'll never change this just in chris paul is now a houston rocket the question is how will paul and another ball dominant guard and mvp runner-up james harden coexist you said you're here to help him yeah can you help uh, How can you help him? Um, I think I can, uh, but more so he can help me too. You know, we can help each other. Uh, how can I help him? Um, I don't know. I think I can get the ball out of his hands a little bit. You know, and I think he can do the same for me. Me and James have obviously known each other. You know what I mean? But in talking, um, once again, it showed his selflessness in that. You know, I like for you to come come here. We both. Uh, realized that we had a common goal, and that was to win. That was the only thing that mattered. When we got done with our conversation, winning was the priority, and we said, let's, let's figure it out. And you figured it would work? Absolutely. No, no hesitation, no reservation? None whatsoever. The, the test is up north. You know, that's who you're shooting for, whoever Absolutely. we're shooting for. How much closer are you now? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's something time will tell, and we'll figure it out. But uh, I'm excited about what we're going to do here and what we're going to build. That's the biggest thing. I'm excited about building something, and that started in Vegas. You know what I mean? Maybe it started as soon as the trade went through. Like I said, uh, there literally hasn't been a day that went by since the trade happened, and me and James haven't talked about certain things. So I think that's what's got me excited right now is about building and, and seeing what we can do. Okay. Little Chris, what do you think? You think that your dad's going to win? And he to take it. <laughs> that guy right there for uh, my birthday, for my birthday this year, he probably gave me the most touching gift I probably ever got. That and that, that was, uh, he got me a ring. He got me a ring. Oh. And he said, uh, Daddy, I want you to have this one so that when you finally win your championship, you have you another one. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's my guy right there.